Hey, what's up guys? My name is Clement, and today we're going to be building my mom an entry-level gaming computer. This is our current PC. It's some HP all-in-one that we picked up for about $100, and it's probably the biggest piece of junk in my house by far. This beast is equipped with an A4 5000 APU that's clocked at a blazing 1.5 GHz that stays so cold that it only needs a 20mm CPU fan. They were also able to fit in one of the smallest motherboards in the world in a mid-tower case. Wow, good job HP. But don't worry guys, it is some of the best cable management that you will probably ever see. They were also so generous and didn't even include a power supply and it's all powered by a laptop charger. Accompanied by a failing 5200 RPM hard drive, they managed to throw in a single stick of DDR3 1300 speed RAM without dual channel. So let's just throw out this absolute pile of junk and get to building her something that she can actually use to start a YouTube channel. Usually people don't start with the case, but with the N17 I wanted to get it out of the way first as I had to do some preparation on it. We needed to install the front intake fans and to do that we had to pop off the front glass panel and then screw the four screws into each fan. For these specific ones, we wanted the up here logo on the inside of the case so that these were acting as intake fans, pulling air into the case, keeping everything cool. As you can see, there is a bunch of little slits in the motherboard tray at the top right of the case. Use these holes to bundle all the front IO cables through and wire them to the back of the case so they are out of the way. Then use some of the zip ties supplied with your motherboard to keep all the cables together. So for the heart of the computer, I just went with the B450M Pro M2 Max. It is nothing serious and it is an entry level motherboard from MSI. It is missing a few things that a full ATX motherboard has, but fortunately for my bank account, my mom does not need any of these overkill features. And for the CPU, I went with the Ryzen 3 3100. To install the CPU, look for the golden arrow on one of the corners of the CPU and line it up with the arrow that's on the motherboard. You shouldn't have to force the CPU into place at all and should be able to just drop the CPU into the socket. Once it is into place, just pull the lever down and you are good to go. Since my mom will be using this computer for a YouTube channel, I went with 16GB of DDR4 Rip Jaws 3200 speed RAM. To install the RAM, just line up the notch in the RAM with the DIMM slots on the motherboard. Since my mom's motherboard is a micro ATX, it only has two DIMM slots. If it was a full ATX motherboard, it would have at least 4 and the RAM usually goes in slots 2 and 4 for dual channel. For storage, I went with a much faster option, a 500GB M2 SSD from Western Digital. To install this, locate your M2 insert and install your M2 standoff in the correct location depending on the size of your SSD. Then just push it into place and screw in the tiny M2 screw that is provided with your motherboard. And it's as simple as that, all the essential parts are installed and no cables were needed. Now let's install the CPU cooler. We are going to use the free Wraith cooler that comes with the Ryzen 3 3100. Since it comes with thermal paste pre-applied, installing this is insanely simple. Just line up the four screws with the four holes around your CPU on your motherboard. Then screw them in an X formation. Always screw in the opposite screw that you started screwing in first for equal pressure on the CPU. And once all four screws are screwed in fully, you are good to go. Now that we finished preparing the motherboard, we need to install the motherboard's I.O. shield. It's super simple and it just snaps into place in the back of the case and requires no screws at all. Once you have the I.O. shield installed, make sure you have all the motherboard standoffs in the correct locations inside the case. Then, just carefully place your motherboard onto the standoffs and screw the motherboard in with the screws that are provided with your case. Once the motherboard is screwed in, grab one more fan and install an exhaust fan on the back side of the case. This is essential for proper airflow as we currently only have three intake fans on the front of the case. And once the fan is installed, just plug it into the fan header right beside it and be sure to hide the wire. For a power supply, I went with another budget option, the Smart 500W from Thermaltake. Unfortunately, it is not fully modular, so it comes with a bunch of extra cables. This can be very overwhelming for some, but don't worry, we do not need all this nonsense. Install your PSU fan down if you have a filter. I wasn't thinking when installing this and didn't really look at the case, so I installed it fan upwards. It doesn't really matter all that much in the end though, so I'm not too worried about it. Next up, install the 8-pin connector in the top left CPU port. 
I had an extra cable extension from my last PC build, so I just threw it in here so I would have one less mustard cable. After that, install the 24 pin connector to the motherboard. Now that the motherboard and the CPU both have power, that's it for the main cables from the power supply on this build. I had two extra RGB fans, so I decided to install them right below where the graphics card goes to provide more airflow to the GPU. And of course, more RGB equals more frame rate, so of course I had to add more. Now that we have all the fans installed on the computer, we have to connect the fan hub. It's pretty simple, just plug in one SATA cable from the power supply, then plug in all the fans into the hub and you are good to go. The last thing we have to do before installing the graphics card is tidy up the cables on the back side of the case, then connect all the cables from the case's front panel I.O. This can be slightly confusing for some people as most motherboards are different, so just refer to the manual that is provided with your motherboard and there will be a section with photos to explain it good. And last but not least, for my mom's graphics card, I went with the GTX 1050 from NVIDIA. I got this used off Kijiji, which is a local site in Canada, kind of like Craigslist. I managed to scoop this up for $40, which is absolutely an amazing deal in my opinion. So this is the finished PC. I personally think it looks great and I really hope my mom likes it. But of course guys, we cannot end this video until I show you guys some benchmarks on it so you can see if you want to build one yourself. I was aiming for a similar price of the new consoles, but I really wanted to create something that my mom could work with because I know she does not like consoles. So let's check out the performance. My mom can play art. It'd um, be pretty funny. Imagine she joined my tribe. We like raided people. <laughs>
played way worse than this. But I can mess with this even more. in competitive settings. So now that I know the computer works flawlessly and is a massive upgrade from her old one, I waited until she left the house for a couple hours and then I set it up at her desk. It's a complete startup kit so she can also start making YouTube videos. It comes with a 4K camera and an entry level editing computer with editing software already licensed on it. Her link will be in the description and if you would like to subscribe to her I would appreciate it a bunch. I'm also going to give her an Osmo Pocket. It's a pretty good camera. It's a 4K 60fps camera on a 3-axis gimbal. It's uh, pretty expensive. It's going to go with a mic uh, and a bunch of attachments. And of course an SD card, a Lexar 128 gig. Uh, this will be perfect for a YouTube channel. Hopefully she enjoys it. Look at that. Alright, so the door's here. Got a little ninja camera right there. It's the main camera. Gets the whole room. Say it was like right there. It just looks like a prop. She probably wouldn't even notice. Is this for me? Yep. Thanks. That's a new mouse. Mm -hmm. What? Let me edit. What's that? Yeah, I built you a computer. Get out of town. And I gave you the Shut up. My old, uh, camera. Oh my god. And there's Thank editing me. and stuff on there. Is there? Same program I used to edit and Photoshop. I found out you can share it on two computers. So. The camera? It's funny you looked at the computer you're like, what's that? What's going on? Ah! Yeah, what? you have your own graphics what? card now. Seriously? Oh my god. You only noticed the mouse pad or what? Yeah, just the mouse pad. And then I noticed that. And the computer and the keyboard. Mm. <laughs> I didn't notice that either. Oh my gosh. Look at me, I'm all souped up. Yep. Wow. You can edit videos now. That's crazy. What? Look, he built me a computer. Oh. He gave me a new uh, keyboard. He gave me a mouse pad, a new um, thing. He gave me editing software for YouTube. He gave me a GoPro. Holy fuck! You I can know, make really? your own YouTube channel. Yeah. Dude, check it. This That's... Is, this is good. Well, I can start playing games again, like RuneScape. I tested out like 20 games on it. You can play Ark. Can you guys do this? Like, and then I... Three people with my mom! <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to have to end today's episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this far. Sorry the reaction wasn't the greatest. Uh, it's because it wasn't scripted and it was actually real. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.